Ashe Collective. Welcome to Nisha Star Tarot. Um, we are here to do our earth sign readings. That'll be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Ashe, Happy New Year. Welcome 2024, right? Um, I'm getting a lot of uh, car energy, so something to do with like donuts, circles, circling a block. Yeah, somebody's running the block when it comes to love. So they're coming back for another chance to give something another shot. Someone really loves you. Like, I feel a lot of love energy. You're surrounded by, like, yeah, the star. Getting your wishes fulfilled. So somebody's coming back in to fulfill a wish that you had in terms of love. Or it's, like, actually put more effort, I feel, or more energy into, like, creating something here. Um, so it's not so one-sided. Yes, here comes the Knight of Wands. So the problem is this person is in and out with that energy. They want to work on things. They want to build the bond and make things stronger. But like the truth is, I don't know if they have it in them um, when it comes to like creating what it is that you... It's like they're fine with starting it, but they don't finish. Ashe. Look at this. And the king and we're in the earth sign reading and the king and queen just made an appearance so as i said there is real love being shared here but the truth is it's either another person is in and out um some sort of passion Ooh, the passion can be in and out as well um but that's the energy here is like something doesn't seem too stable or too secure so it's almost like the uh, Queen of Pentacles is here to just sit back and analyze, sit back and watch, sit back and it's almost like observing kind of behavior. Um, but like nurture your surroundings as you're doing so. It's like almost if you allow your mind to, oh wow, oh, you guys, I can't make this shut up. If you allow your mind to wander, I feel like it's going to wander off into the wrong direction here. But he came out. The king came out for his queen. So what's in between them is distance. Like I'm telling you, it, it may be physical distance or it may be like mental distance. Like you guys aren't on the same page. Or there's something sinking the ship here that you're not willing to talk about. Quay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it's like... It may be a child, child-like energy or someone from your childhood even uh, coming in with a message or coming in as a distraction. The problem is it's the things that's not being discussed that's sinking this boat. There's swords here. There's heartache here. So it's like these swords are, oh, there's more than one. So it's on his and her side because remember, they're on each side. So this could be like something to do with your masculine and feminine as well if you're not in a relationship i would say that something's not on balance or something is off balance oh and i just saw the butterflies here so it's like uh and they're not on land so you have a transformation when it's coming to emotions and walk away come here come here a transformation when it comes to <laughs> land and water um really balancing things out as i said there may be younger energies that are like creating some sort of like distance or um mental distance looking for clarity uh i feel like animals may need attention right now look at this dog uh no but there's something here that's like um so six is giving me not only like a cycle, but like starting anew. So like having, so, so something was working where you were getting away from like mental disagreements and something was working here. You found something that was working in terms of communication, but now you're starting to steer away. Like the paths are no longer aligning, I feel. So it's just like to get back on the same, cause you don't want to start tricking yourself or feeling like the part, like your partner is being deceitful. Um, there's real love here. So you don't want to trick yourself out of like the blessing that you have because you're starting to sink your ship with your thoughts. This is telling me that you need to become more grounded, like come back, um, get out of your emotions and come back to like more tangible things, like be more physical, show love in other ways, you know? Um, figure out no 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 back up figure out your partner's love language quay come on go sit down 
figure out your partner's love language and like start finding a, a better way to express yourself and your partner's um even like your gratitude for the relationship um because i feel like yeah with the ace of swords here some there's a truth here there's somebody's hiding something and i hate to like be so uh let me see if i can clarify this actually why the ace of swords because i feel like it's this one sword that you just talked about you just had this discussion and then now you feel like someone's tricking you or lying because this would be seven of swords right or if you subtract a sword if you hold on to this truth and don't discuss it it's almost like this is a sword that's stabbing you in the back because you don't want to break up this happy home or this happy feeling but is it really happy um especially it's like if uh if you have to be quiet to keep the peace and like create a war within yourself because now your mind is like not at ease or like you're frustrated and having all of these uh, second thoughts. Cutting something out is here, Queen of Swords. So this is like really being logical um, when it comes. So it may be a behavior that someone really needs to cut out and they you don't want to have that conversation because it's like, on your own well okay so will of fortune you have a lot of prosperity um even in, as individuals i feel like you have a lot of potential right so maybe and this may have to do it like work or financially financially you can both be really um good or independent but the problem is i feel like you're not working well together if that makes any sense or like your scheduling is off something something to that nature where it comes to like it's almost karmic the independence that one's trying to achieve if that makes any sense because it creates like this in and out behavior where you're not really like picking up your slack someone isn't picking up their slack here and it's like the boat's already left if that makes any sense the boat took off without you like it's left the dock so it's, you want to cut out certain type of behavior, not the person per se, but like a, a aspect of them, but you can't change people. So it's learning how to like manipulate the will or to turn the will or to allow things to um, happen naturally or as they should even, um, and just come to terms with that's how things may be. Asha, take care.